How is this DVR different from all other DVRs? It's time for a gadget seder. If you're fed up with your DVR like most of America, now is the time to take matters into your own hands with the TiVo Premiere. Not only will it record up to 45 hours of HD content, but it also has a brand new interface that lets you stream Netflix and Blockbuster on demand. Search the web for music and videos, and of course, watch TV. The next generation of video recorder is here for 300 bucks plus a monthly fee. Well, that uh, DVR we took a walking tour of DC, apparently. It was a very patriotic <laughs> that was, that was TiVo. a lot of fun. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Now, before we get into the new TiVo interface, have they added anything to the box itself besides looking much more sleek? Not really, no, Sexy but uh, there's still no built-in Wi-Fi. Oh. You gotta send, spend 60 bucks on the wireless G adapter. Oh. Wireless G. Oh. If you want wireless in, well, that's $90. Yeah. But... Um, at least they kept the eSATA port so you can add more recording space, but it's gotta be the $100 My DVR expander drive. Uh, it's also not compatible with satellite providers, but It'll work with any cable company, but I will say that DirecTV is planning some kind of a TiVo box later this year. We did confirm that they are forming it, another partnership. But it doesn't work with AT&T U-verse. Uh, I don't, it just, it, well, which is cable. Right, but you just said it works with everything except satellite providers. You're sure it doesn't work with AT&T Universe? Uh, the older TiVo does not work with AT&T. Uh, maybe the new one does. Well, this is the and new the extreme one, does, one. Maybe I'm getting it. This is the new extreme one, <laughs> yes. Allison. It's like, it's have premier. You, have, you, have, you, have, you tried, have you tried this one? I've not tried this then one, Then why don't no. you shut it down? I just assumed TiVo, All right. sorry. Other than that, just saying, I cannot use TiVo. <laughs> You're always just saying. Sorry, I am. Other than that, it is the TiVo we know and love. All right, now, uh, we've heard a lot of good things about TiVo's new... Uh... <laughs> this segment's going down like a butterfly fart. <laughs> the whole show, the whole show is just going to be like this. We're going to shoot butterflies everywhere. Uh, anyway, TiVo's, TiVo's got a new flash-based uh, interface. Uh, it's got a nice ease of use. It's more intuitive. But how much of an improvement is it over your cable box at home? It's a massive improvement. Yeah. Menu items are laid out in a manner that makes sense, so you always know where you need to go to find different content. So when you're going from screen to screen, there's a little bit of loading that can slow down the experience, but TiVo told us they're already working on an update, so shut up about it. Uh, <laughs> even the ads at the top are easy to browse through, and then they're basically just content-aware suggestions that TiVo thinks that you might like based on what you watch. And a lot of the time, I gotta say, they're right. So overall, it is a breath of fresh air compared to most DVRs. If you're already a TiVo user, though, this is really just a small step forward, so it's not a big jump between the two. One small step forward for TiVo. Yes. One large step forward for... DVRs. Well played. Work. Well played. <laughs> All right, now the, the last TiVo model started adding support for different internet content like YouTube, Amazon Video, it had Rhapsody, uh, in addition to your recorded TV. So is the Premiere able to complete the experience, the it, TiVo experience? <clears throat> it totally is. It totally is. So from Netflix to podcasts to music videos to photo bucket, this is the richest television experience that you can have. I mean, the amount Ooh. of content is staggering. And TiVo makes it seem like you're just browsing the internet on your television. And the search feature has also been updated. So it's going to find video no matter where it lives, recorded on your box, Blockbuster on demand, even the YouTubes. That's so much. It is. It's a lot That's of content. so much video everywhere hiding in my TiVo. It really is. That's incredible. Mm -hmm. Now, TiVo Premiere is only 300 bucks, but you have to pay that, ser that service fee. It's like $13 a month or $400 for a lifetime subscription. So what are we rating it at that price? I'm giving it a four out of five. I mean, oh. TiVo is showing us the future of television yeah. with the way that they've aggregated all this downloadable content into one space. Even though it's not a revolution for existing TiVo users, it is still the best cable box that money can buy. All right, and if it works on AT&T Universe, I'm getting it. That's right. That'd be sweet. But right. always remember, when you're watching G4, watch it when it airs. Live, because we're live. Please. Watch us as a live show. That's right. Please. Absolutely. All right, that's it for Gadgetron. And remember, for even more of the latest news on computers and tech, check out g4tv.com slash the feed. That's right. It's big, it's beautiful, and you're going to love it. Attack of the Show's Epic April, weeknights at 7, only on G4.